and so this is the sixth sum the person has invested the person has invested rupees 1 lakh right now so right now he has invested 1 lakh then rupees 2 lakhs at the end of the second year at the end of the second year and rupees 4 lakhs at the beginning at the beginning of the fourth year how much amount he will be receiving how much amount he will be receiving by the end of the fifth year by the end of the fifth year if interest rate is 10 percentage per annum okay so this is the question okay so 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay a person has invested rupees 1 lakh right now so that right now is in end of the zero year so 1 lakh then 2 lakhs at the end of the second year. So at the end of the second year, 2 lakhs. Then 4 lakhs at the beginning of the fourth year. So as good as end of the third year. Beginning of the fourth year means end of the third year. So end of the third year, it goes to 4 lakhs. Okay. So how much amount he will be receiving by the end of the fifth year? So end of the fifth year, how much amount he will receive? If interest rate is 10 percentage per annum, okay. So that means this this one lakh is growing at the rate of 10 percentage, but for how long? So first period, second, third, fourth, five, fifth. So it will be so future value is equal to present value into one plus r to the power n. So So present value is 1 lakh, it is growing at the rate of 1 plus 10 percentage for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So this, this will give us the value for 1 lakh, how much 1 lakh will grow to. But then we are also investing 2 lakhs at the end of the second year. So this will be, so plus so second year it will be okay so 2 lakhs 1 plus r r is again 10 percentage to the power so how many periods so second year 1 2 3 so to the power 3 okay plus then we are also investing 4 lakhs so for this 4 lakhs plus 4 lakhs 1 plus 10 percentage to the power so 4 lakhs is investing here so 1 2 so for 2 periods so you add up all this calculate and add up all this you will get the future value okay so let me calculate and write it here
it comes to 91251 91251 ok second investments comes to 266200 third investment comes to 484000 and adding all this comes to 911251 okay next one This seventh question. A person has received has received rupees one lakh by the beginning of the by the beginning of the first year. Then rupees full stop, then rupees three lakhs by the end of the third year. Full stop and rupees four lakhs at the beginning of the fourth year at the beginning of the fourth year okay how much how much he would he would have deposited How much he would have deposited right now if the interest rate if the interest rate is ten percentage per annum? Okay, so this is the question. A person has received one lakh by the beginning of the first year. Okay, that means end of the zero year. So end of the zero year, you are receiving one lakh. Then by the end of the, th uh, no, has received one lakh by the beginning of the first year, three lakhs by the end of the third year, one, two, three. So three lakhs by the end of the third year. Okay, And rupees four lakh at the beginning of the fourth year. So beginning of the fourth year is also end of the third year only. So it will be plus again 4 lakhs. Okay. So how much you would have deposited right now if the interest rate is 10 percentage. Okay. So right now how much he must have deposited. So he has deposited some X amount because of which he got 1 lakh now and he, he is going to get uh, 7 lakhs at the end of the third year. This is how the question is. Okay. So, so I need to find out the present value of this 7 lakhs. So, present value is equal to future value divided by 1 plus r to the power n. So, future value is 7 lakhs divided by 1 plus 10 percentage so this is for how many periods so from here to here 1 2 3 so this is for 3 periods okay so this comes to 5 to 5 
525920. So in 525920, he must have deposited here, okay, so that he gets 7 lakh at the end of the third year. Plus, the pre he is also getting 1 lakh. So what is the present value of this 1 lakh? The present value of this 1 lakh is 1 lakh only because it is being paid at the end of the zero year. So that means initially he paid this 1 lakh. Okay, this 1 lakh he paid and then he also paid 525920. So total he paid 625920 out of which he got 1 lakh again at the initial stage itself and then 7 lakh at the end of the third year. Okay, so the total answer is 625920. 625920. Thank you.